How long will it take for 200 grams of a substance to decay to one gram if the half-life is eight days? In order to solve a question like this, you obviously need the half-life equation, which is A equals A naught times one half to the power of T over H. We can fill in the numbers that were given and solve for T the length of time that will have elapsed. H is the half-life, A naught is the initial amount, and A is the amount after this amount of time has passed. So we want 200 grams to decay. We don't know how long it's going to take, but we do know that the half-life is eight days. We'll just keep in mind that our unit for time here is days. And the final amount after this amount of time has gone by is one gram. This is the equation we have to solve. Now it's easy to do at the beginning. We're going to divide 200 out on both sides of the equation. I'll cancel that 200 out. 1 divided by 200 gives me 0 0.005 equals 1 half to the power of t over 8. Now, we need to be able to solve this equation, but the exponent, or sorry, the letter we're solving for is in the exponent. Do you guys remember how to do that? The answer is take the log of both sides. The log of the left side equals the log of the right hand side. And remember, when you do that, you can bring the exponent down and multiply it. Bloop, right in front. T over eight times the log of one half is what this converts to. In order to solve for T now, we just have to divide both sides by log a half. I guess I can show that here. Divide both sides by log one half. I'll cancel it out here. And to undo this dividing by eight, we're gonna multiply by eight. Let's not get ahead of ourselves though. Let's log 0 0.005 and divide it by the log of 0.5. I get 7.64. So, 7.64 equals t over 8. I hope you can solve that. I tutor grade 5 so you can solve this. You multiply the left hand side by 8. I'll get out my calculator because I'm lazy. 61.15. So, it'll take 61.15 days for that 200 grams to decay to 1 gram. 61.15 days is 7.64 half lives. Cool? That's how it goes. Be able to solve equations where the number you're solving for is in the exponent, and you do that by taking the log of both sides and bringing the exponent down. After that, it's regular algebra, and you can handle that, right? Yes, you can. Best of luck.